Kochi to evolve into a global maritime hub, shipbuilding, ship repairs, and port terminal. Kochi, nestled along the southwestern coast of India, has played a pivotal role in the nation's maritime and shipping industry for centuries. As per news reports, during his recent two-day visit to Kerala, on January 17, 2024, Prime Minister Narendra Modi unveiled a historic chapter in the city's maritime journey by inaugurating three groundbreaking infrastructure projects at Willingdon Island in Kochi, collectively valued at over 4,000 rupees crore. This momentous occasion not only signifies a major boost for Kochi but also holds the promise of reshaping India's maritime landscape. In this video, through comprehensive analysis, we will delve deeper into the historical context of Kochi's maritime achievements, scrutinize the technical aspects of the newly inaugurated projects and explore the multifaceted impacts on socio-economic, employment, business, trade, and the broader economic landscape. Hi friend! Welcome back to SciTech Buzz One channel. We wish to sincerely thank all the new subscribers of this channel. We have observed that 97% of our viewers haven't subscribed to our channel. If you haven't as yet subscribed, kindly consider doing so, after watching this video, since it would encourage us to do more. Watch this interesting video until the end so that you will not miss out on all the details. Historical Context Kochi's maritime significance dates back centuries, marked by its vibrant shipbuilding, ship construction, ship repairs, and flourishing trading activities. During modern times, Kochi has an experience of 50 years in shipbuilding and repair of modern vessels with advanced technologies. The region's strategic location along international sea routes has positioned it as a critical player in India's maritime sector. The proposed developments unveiled by Prime Minister Modi build upon this rich historical foundation, aiming not only to enhance existing capacities but also to propel Kochi into a global maritime hub. Project Details and Significance 1. New Dry Dock, NDD, at CSL, in the global ship building market, CSL's position is among the top 10 shipyards in green ship building. They have already exported around 50 ships to Europe. The new dry dock, a flagship project of Cochin Shipyard Limited, CSL, stands as a testament to India's engineering capabilities. With an estimated cost of 1,800 rupees crore, this 310 meter long stepped dry dock boasts dimensions of 75 60 meters in width, 13 meters in depth, and up to 9.5 meters in draft. Its heavy ground loading capabilities equip India to handle strategic assets, including future aircraft carriers with a displacement of up to 70,000 tons and large commercial vessels. For perspective, INS Vikrant has a displacement of 45,000 tons. The new dry dock can take 600 tons of load per SQM. The dry dock is designed for a minimum life of 100 years. CSL has currently taken up two Navy projects covering 14 ships. One is a RS-6000 Corps project to build eight anti-submarine corvettes. The other project is to build six next-generation missile vessels, at around 10,000 rupees crore, the NDD eliminates India's reliance on foreign nations for emergency national requirements, fostering self-sufficiency. Two, International Ship Repair Facility, ISRF, of CSL, the ISRF project, crafted at a cost of approximately 970 rupees crore, is a unique facility designed to modernize and enhance CSL's ship repair capabilities. Spanning 42 acres at Willingdon Island, Kochi, it features a ship lift system, transfer system, six workstations, and a berth of roughly 1,400 meters. This facility positions Kochi as a global hub for ship repair, enabling CSL to accommodate seven ships of 130 meters in length simultaneously. With the new project, CSL will be able to repair 150 to 160 ships per year. Currently, they repair 80 to 90 ships. In ship repair, KSL's market share is 40 to 50 percent. After the commissioning of the new facility, it will rise to 60 percent. They currently have seven units, one each in Mumbai, Kolkata, Hara, Udupi, and Port Blair and two in Kochi. 
The ISRF is a critical step towards not only meeting domestic demands but also catering to international ship repair needs. 3. LPG Import Terminal at Puthavipin The LPG Import Terminal, an initiative of Indian Oil Corporation Limited with an investment of approximately 1,236 rupees crore, serves as a cornerstone in ensuring a consistent and reasonably priced supply of LPG. With a storage capacity of 15,400 metric tons, this state-of-the-art terminal addresses the energy needs of millions of homes and businesses in the region. The project aligns seamlessly with India's commitment to providing accessible and affordable energy for all. Analyzing the Impact Socioeconomic Impact The inauguration of these projects is poised to have a profound socioeconomic impact, transcending regional boundaries. Direct employment opportunities are estimated at 4,000 jobs, and the multiplier effect across sectors like MSME, logistics, transport services, banking, insurance, and hospitality is expected to be substantial. The enhanced capacities of CSL are not just about modernizing infrastructure but also about transforming lives through increased job opportunities and economic empowerment. Business and Trade Opportunities the revamped shipbuilding and repair capabilities of Kochi create a fertile ground for attracting international business. Cochin Shipyard Chairman Madhu S. Nair predicts that these investments will increase CSL's market share in the shipbuilding and repair sector from 40 to 50 percent to an estimated 60 percent. The projects are expected to strengthen India's position in the global shipbuilding market, especially in the domain of green shipbuilding, aligning with global trends toward sustainability. Strategic importance, the strategic significance of these developments is underscored by the NDD's capacity to accommodate future aircraft carriers, aligning perfectly with India's defense priorities. The ongoing Navy projects, including the construction of anti-submarine corvettes and next-generation missile vessels, further amplify Kochi's strategic importance in the maritime domain. The city is poised to become a crucial player in national defense and security, enhancing India's maritime capabilities. Contributions to India's Growth Story These developments contribute significantly to India's growth story, transcending the maritime sector. Economic growth is expected to rise, logistics costs are anticipated to decrease, and the projects will foster EXM trade, ultimately fostering self-reliance. The comprehensive approach to modernizing infrastructure reflects Prime Minister Modi's vision of a robust, self-sufficient maritime sector that not only serves national interests but also opens up opportunities for India in the global commercial arena. Employment and Skill Development The direct employment opportunities generated by the ISRF and the NDD are not just numbers, they represent lives impacted positively. With an estimated 4,000 direct jobs and a multiplier effect in related industries, these projects become catalysts for socio-economic development. Additionally, the focus on advanced technology in shipbuilding and repair positions Kochi as a center for skill development, fostering a workforce capable of handling cutting-edge technologies in the maritime domain. Global Market Presence The global shipbuilding market is witnessing a shift toward sustainability, and Kochi is strategically positioned to capitalize on this trend. Cochin Shipyard's commitment to green ship building and the adoption of advanced technologies, such as electrical means of operation, have already attracted international clients. The contract with a German client for methanol-fueled vessels is a testament to Kochi's global market presence. The city, once known for its historical significance, is now making a mark in the contemporary, forward-looking global maritime landscape. Environmental impact and sustainability, the emphasis on green ship building and the adoption of advanced technologies in vessel construction align with global environmental concerns. As ships worldwide move away from fossil fuels, CSL's initiatives in building vessels using advanced technology and alternative fuels contribute to sustainability. This commitment not only enhances Kochi's global reputation but also positions India as a responsible player in the international maritime community. Conclusion In conclusion, the inauguration of the new dry dock, international ship repair facility, and LPG import terminal in Kochi represents a watershed moment in India's maritime history. These projects transcend mere infrastructure development, 
they embody a strategic vision that encompasses socio-economic empowerment, technological advancement, and global competitiveness. The multifaceted impacts on socio-economic, employment, business, trade, and the broader economic landscape are poised to shape Kochi's destiny as a global maritime hub. As the waves of progress ripple from Kochi to the rest of the nation, the transformative developments herald not just a regional success story but a resounding chapter in India's journey towards maritime excellence. Stay tuned for further developments on this project. Do let us know your thoughts on the subject in the comments section. My friend, if you have found any value in this video, then kindly click on like button as an encouragement to create better quality content. Please share this video amongst your family members, friends, and in your social media network so that this information might benefit others. Don't forget to subscribe to SciTech Buzz One channel so that you will not miss out on any of our forthcoming videos. Thank you.